Hello, everyone. I'm Zhui Wang from the University of Texas at Dallas. It is my honor to introduce our recent work, the contrastive prototype learning with drift estimation for resource constraint stream mining. Let's begin from the introduction of the continuum learning scenario. We see that any learning system are expected to be adaptive to the ever-changing environment. For example, the non-stationary continuous stream mining scenario. Such scenario includes the incremental or continuous flow of instances, we call it the non-station, uh, non-static, and the emergency of new classes during the processing, we call it the environmental changing. Uh, the continual and the, or the incremental learning system is very common in the self-driven application and the online social network analysis. The goal of such model is to incrementally learn new concepts or the new categories from labeled samples and also preserve the no old knowledge simultaneously. So the major challenge of such model could be summarized as first, the catastrophic forgotten on the old knowledge or the old date. The second one is that the learning bias on new classes, especially when the model could not access the old data. The first challenge, we call it the catastrophic forgotten. It means that the abrupt degradation of the model performance on an old concept. Uh, when, the, uh, when the model try to learn the new categories during the continual learning scenario. Take this online product learning system as an example. The left figure shows that after the model learn on the task key, which includes the A, class A, class B, and class C, what's the output embedding in the feature space. The right one shows the embedding output after the task, the model learn on the task K plus one, which introduced the new categories D, E and F. Uh, we could see that in this new feature, uh, feature space, the embedding output of the old concepts A, B, and C have different degree of, of shifting in this new learned feature space. Another challenge is the bias problem. Also, we call it the overfitting on the new classes. It means that when the model is trained without access to the old data, the corresponding output probabilities to the old classes may relatively lower. Here we could see that the new, when the new model trained by the existing method, it will generally predict the object, uh, predict, predict the incoming object, objects as the new class, the line and the dog. In recent times, people propose different solutions to address the forgetting and bias challenge during the continual learning scenario. We summarize them as the following type. The first type of solution, the experience reply. The second type of approach, we call it the parameter regularization. The final type of solution, knowledge distillation. The disadvantage of such existing solution is that they could not meet the resource constraint typically required in the real world application as we proposed in our title. The resource constraint typically includes first the limited amount of labeled data for the new class classes or new tasks. Second one, uh, without accessing to the old data or the old model during the model updating. All the previous work uh, require a certain amount of data from the new class to update to update the model itself. Uh, for the different uh, period of training. Also, the experience reply and the parameter regularization based approach also, also need large extra memory space to store in the previous state of the model parameter, which would raise the concern of the concerning of the data privacy for such approach based application. In order to solve the previous challenge under the, the resource constraint setting, we introduce our approach clear and consists of the three major improvements compared with this existing approach. First, in order to reduce the overfitting on the new classes, uh, different ways, uh, different from the existing work that using the softmax score and uh, uh, from the fully connected layer output as the classifier. 
we applied the embedded output to construct the category representation, also called the prototype, for the classification of both new and old categories. Uh, this classifier could use uh, will use the uh, will measure the distance to different prototype uh, to to different prototypes and then determine whether the incoming instance uh, should be assigned to which category. The second one, in order to reduce uh, the forgotten on the old class without the store without a story in the previous state. Uh, here we estimate the change of the old class by calculating the drift uh, by, by calculating the drift in the embedding space uh, from the different class. Then we use the estimated uh, uh, drift value to comp to compensate the old class representation, also called the prototype. This is the drift est estimation mechanism in our approach. Uh, finally, for the optimization of the embedding output, we introduce the contrastive learning as a self-supervised learning strategy and uh, unlabeled data. This mechanism could improve the data efficiency during the embedding op optimization. We call it the prot prototype contrastive learning. This is the overview of our work clear. Uh, on the different uh, benchmarks, we use the green line to show the performance of soft mask classifier during the fine turning work on sequence of tasks. The blue line shows the performance our applied embedding based classifier. We could observe that the soft mask classifier would have significant performance drop down, especially when a large amount of the following classes emerged during the continuous setting. We call it the catastrophic forgotten. The reason for this phenomenon is that the output of the soft marks function are tightly coupled with numbers of predicted classes. It is a fixed value. So when the new objects are added in the continuous setting, some fundamental drawbacks would emerge. For our applied embedding-based classifier, uh, we, used the cla we used the class representation, we call it the prototype here, uh, to construct the embedding based classifier. The constructor, the construct, the constructing of the prototype for each class could be summarized as the mean value of the output embedding from the different uh, instances that come from one of every class. Next, after we constructed the prototype for every class, we will use the nearest class's mean to determine the final assignment for every coming instance. Next, for the optimization work on the embedding space, especially under limited uh, amount of the labeled data, or we call it a large amount of unlabeled data, recently proposed the contrastive learning or self-supervised learning approach uh, could be a suitable choice. Uh, here in our work, different from the existing methods that only focuses on the instance level discrimina discrimination, our proposed uh, the contrastive, contrastive prototype learning framework further pay attention to the high-level semantics feature. Specifically, uh, for the uh, established prototype, we enforce the instance embedding to be more similar to its corresponding prototypes compared to the rest, one, rest of us, so that the clustering mechanism could be introduced for grouping, uh, for grouping the semantic similar instance together into one prototype. And then the model could uh, optimize the embedding space from both the instance and the semantic level. Finally, we could get more discriminated feature space uh, from the bio optimization process. We show the comparison of the existing instance level contrastive learning and our proposed prototype contrastive learning here. The optimization of our work would be more effectiveness than the existing work. Finally, after the model established all the prototypes on previous classes, 
it should be trained on the new incoming classes. During this period, the old class representation should also be updated. We propose the drift estimation module to solve the updating of the old prototype without accessing to the corresponding old data. We use an example to show how the model update the old class's prototype from task S to task S plus 1. Here we see that first, after the model trained on the task S, also means that the model update, uh, also means that before the model updating on the task S plus 1, we would get the prototype of the class, class set CS from the task S. Then, when the task S plus 1 comes, for the instance XI in class S, uh, C S plus 1, which comes from the task S plus 1, we let them go through the current model, go through the current model and get the embedded output ZTSI, which is shown here. Next, we train the model on the task S plus 1, and after this period, we use the instance XI in the class C S plus 1, go through the update model, then get the new embedded output ZTS plus 1i. We would measure the drift of the single instance for the non-drift as described previously through this formulation. At last, based on the known atom drift from the new data, we sum up the known drift atom drift together and use a mapping weight to estimate the unknown prototype drift for previous class set CS. This estimated value would be used for calibrating the prototype of CS after the model trained on the new task S plus 1. In this section, I will introduce the experiment result based on our approach clear and other state-of-the-art method. We conduct experiments on five popular data sites for the class incremental stream setting that contains a sequence of the tasks. First, we will group all the instances according to their classes. Secondly, we will randomly select 50% of the categories for the model pre-training step. And finally, finally, for the rest 50% of the classes, we regard them, we regard them as the incoming new task set during the testing step. Uh, in this table, we first show the average accuracy and the mean forgotten rate on all the tasks. We could see that uh, most of the time, our approach could beat other competitors on not only the accuracy, but also the forgotten rate performance with a clear region. Uh, next, for the incremental accuracy on different task period, our approach could also reach the highest performance on the different uh, tasks from task 1 to task 5 in the Cogia Tech, the Flowers, and the New York Times data site. Uh, next, I will show the variance of the forgotten rate under the different task setting. Uh, our, uh, our methods could keep a stable and uh, significant improvement compared with existing approach. Uh, the results show that uh, our approach could uh, reach at least 5.22% uh, uh, improvement on the best uh, parameter regularization or the knowledge distribution based approach. Also, compared with the exemplar storage based approach, uh, the clear could also reach at least 1.03% improvement. Next, I will introduce the memory performance uh, and the virtualization of the embedding output from the different, uh, uh, from the different uh, task cases. First, uh, I show that the network architecture and the memory allocation for different competitors. The architectures include the both the convolutional layer and the fully connected layer. This table takes the C4100 data size as, as an example. Uh, compare with this approach, for example, the EWS and the MIS, uh, our approach could reach the fewer memory size uh, during the model training and the testing. 
At last, we showed the ablation study to prove the effectiveness of different components in our approach clear. Uh, for the parameter analysis, uh, we showed the parameter lambda 1 and lambda 2 that represent the different loss function in the contrastive prototype uh, objective. So for the conclusion, our approach clear could outperform the existing loss storage state of ours approach with a various margin and also obtain com competitive results compared with uh, exemplar storage based methods.